Hey guys, Fish here. I decided to um, redo a collection video regarding my Seam Seam vinyl figures. Um, I just feel like my last video was very lackluster and the camera quality, or not the camera quality, but the um, it wasn't that great of a quality. Um, it's not something that I'm very proud to show on my channel and to show with my Obsessive Fish, uh, or the Obsessive Fish, the Little Awkward Fish, um, branding or just something that I'm proud to like show somebody so I just thought it'd be better if I um, redid my video um, hopefully it comes out better and hopefully you guys enjoy it um, so yeah let's get started so here are the majority of my Sim Sim vinyl collection these are all just classic um, Sim Sims there are no uh, variants or uh, special editions, no Marvels, these are all just Disney. Um, so let's get started. I also included the stack pack accessories because, um, I just like the way they look all together. I think they look really cool when, uh, a full stack is completed plus the accessory. Uh, so I just wanted to show them all together. So let's get started. Here are my Mickey and Friends characters. And then moving on to my Winnie the Pooh. Uh, figurines. Here are my Lilo and Stitch Tsum Tsums. And then I have uh, Finding Dory and Finding Nemo Tsum Tsums. I forgot to include Darla's uh, water bag, so here it is. Here are my 101 Dalmatians. And then uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Here are my Little Mermaid uh, Tsum Tsums. And then I have my Beauty and the Beast Tsum Tsums. Here are my Aladdin Tsum Tsums, and I believe I have every character available. And to go along with the princesses, I have Tiana and Mulan, even though Mulan's technically not a princess. Here we have my Tangled set. Moving on to my Cinderella set, I have both uh, variations of Cinderella's blind bag. Then moving on to my Frozen uh, sets, so there we are. And then my Moana set, I really love the Moana characters, they're done so well. And uh, to keep up with the princesses, I have my uh, Sleeping Beauty set, although I don't have any Auroras, I do have Maleficent and the Dragon. Here are my Lion King Tsum Tsums, and then um, my Toy Story Tsum Tsums, as you can see. Here are my Big Hero 6 Tsum Tsums, and then my Alice in Wonderland set. I also have my Monsters, Inc. and my Bambi. Here are my Aristocats, my Pinocchio set, my Inside Out set, and my Peter Pan set, which is really nice. I like them a lot. I love the accessories. Um, here are my Jungle Book set, and then my Zootopia set, and my Muppet set with Kermit and Miss Piggy. Here are my Nightmare Before Christmas sets. Uh, for Jack, I have two uh, exclusive or two sets or two sets of blind bags, and then here are the rest of them. And then I also have uh, my Lady and Tramp set. I have my Emperor's New Groove set. I have a stack of Dumbos. I have my Up set. And then I have my um, Incredibles Zoom Zooms. Here are my Perry the Platypus, Heimlich, Tomater, or just Mater, and Copper. 
I am now going on to my special edition uh, Sim Sim vinyl figures. So uh, first off, I'm going to start with the color pops. Here are all of my color pops. I don't have a lot, um, but I do like lining up the, them this way because it's kind of like a rainbow spectrum, you know? Um, so here, let's start off with pink. So I have Marie um, from the blind bags. I have Daisy. Um, I have the exclusive red mini from the um, case, the carrying case. I have red grumpy uh, blind bag Dale, or I think it's blind bag Chip, uh, Pluto, blind bag Dale. I have a full stack of orange thumpers, a full stack of orange uh, luckies, the exclusive carrying case Mickey. I have a yellow Tinkerbell, I have the full set of Dumbo, I have um, Bambi, uh, Donald, a yellow Donald, um, I have green Jiminy Cricket, green Alien, um, Perry the Platypus, uh, Stitch, this is um, Gus Gus, I have um, the white rabbit, full stack of Donald and Mickey in the blue size, or blue color. I have a scrump, I have blue stitch, and um, he looks like a normal stitch, but he's slightly less teal. I know it's kind of stupid that they made a blue stitch, but whatever. I have or a blue color pop stitch, I should say. Um, there's Cheshire Cat, I have a full stack of minis, I have a uh, Figaro, Angel and Marie in the purple. So yeah, those are all of my color pops. Pretty cool. So here are the uh, carrying cases that came with the color pop uh, yellow Mickey and then the color pop uh, pink slash red Minnie Mouse. So here is the uh, I think this is called the Sweet Boutique. Um, this was a Toys R Us exclusive. It came with four exclusive, uh, small-sized ColourPop Zoom Zooms. So a purple Murray, a green Alien, which is already green. I don't know why they made it green. A yellow Donald, which I, I quite like. And then a blue Stitch. And he's a slightly off color than normal Stitch, but he's still blue. Um, and then it also came with this light-up Cheshire Cat. It came with a gumball machine, um, some accessories, and then a claw machine. Here are my pastel parade sets. So in the back we have the ones that came in three packs, and then the ones in the front are from blind bags. So here I have Mickey, the Mickey stack, the Lilo and Stitch stack, uh, Winnie the Pooh stack, Bambi stack, Figaro stack, or not Figaro, Pinocchio stack. Um, Peter Pan stack, and then for the blind bags, I have Ariel, Eeyore, uh, Minnie, Pluto, Ariel, or Ariel, Angel, and Piglet. And to go along with my pastels, I also have this uh, limit or pastel parade limited edition gift set from Walgreens. Uh, this is um, never been opened, but it has Mickey, Thumper, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet. Miss Bunny and Minnie, and um, here's the back of it. I, I kept it in its packaging because of the Soon Trish effects, and also because um, I already have all of these characters. The only one that's exclusive to this pack is the um, large Miss Bunny, I believe, and I think the large Thumper, or one of these bunnies, um, but yeah. Here are my glitter pastels. These were from the Easter pack of, I believe, 2016 or 2017. So I have uh, Queen of Hearts, Winnie the Pooh, Ariel, Thumper, Tinkerbell, and Donald. These are all medium size, and um, they all have glitter just on the top of them, but not on the bottom, uh, similar to the advent calendar ones. So. Here are my sparkly Sim Sims or glitter Sim Sims. I forgot what they're called, uh, but they were from series six. These are so here are my larges. I have Ursula, uh, White Rabbit, Sadness, and Ham. I have Judy Hops, Lilo, uh, Joy, Lady, 
Cheshire Cat, uh, Eeyore, Mickey, Minnie, and Winnie the Pooh. Here are my smalls. So I have uh, Belle, two Rapunzel's. One of them only has glitter on the bottom for some reason, but I got that in a trade as an extra. Um, Angel and Miss Buddy. And then here are the glitters that I got from the advent calendar from 2016. And they only have a bit of fine glitter on the top of their bodies. Um, but yeah, that's it for those. So these are the only um, play sets or anything uh, for the glitter Tsum Tsums. And um, these are very limited. Uh, they also had a large set with a large glitter dumbo, but that wasn't very that was um, yeah, that wasn't very available. So here is this one. These are basically like Tetris pieces. So this red one came with a medium glitter medium glitter lady with a red bow and a carousel. And then I have this blue piece which has a medium glitter joy with a popcorn uh, head accessory and a um, popcorn stick. So um, I forgot that they also uh, sold these play sets. So they started doing more play sets and um, they also did Aladdin and like uh, the Mad Hatter. So um, they came with like this, uh, with a little, um, like a building, a structure, and then it came with um, some accessories um, and like a few extra characters, but it also came with like an exclusive glitter Tsum Tsum. And this one came with an exclusive medium size glitter um, Lilo. Here are my uh, fuzzy Tsum Tsums. So these are the large sizes. These were a Walmart exclusive blind bag. Um, so I have Peas in the Pod, Donald, Dale, Chip, Stitch, Thumper, and Marie. These are my ultra super lucky Tsum Tsums. So I have my gold in the back, silver, and then my black and white. Oops. So for the gold, I have one large Stitch and one large Winnie the Pooh. I have one medium Mickey and one medium Tigger, and those are the golds. For the silver, I have uh, one medium Mushu, and for the black and white, I have one large uh, Pluto, which came in the Walmart exclusive uh, gift set. I got a, a black and white Mickey, a black and white Minnie, um, the Mickey is in a medium size, and then Minnie I have small and medium sizes, and then I have a medium black and white date, uh, Donald. So yeah. So now we're going on to the seasonal Tsum Tsums. So first up are the Halloween sets. So my first Halloween set, or one of the Halloween sets I have, is the seasonal uh, Jack and Sally, oops, she's not supposed to be in there, Jack and Sally, uh, Play set so they came with two exclusive stack and pack accessories and one backdrop. Um, I'm not too sure. I feel like they might have uh, re released these uh, accessories, but they were supposed to be exclusive to this set. I'm pretty sure they didn't sell well, or maybe Jack Specific just didn't want to waste the molds that um, that were required to make these. So it came with um, here's just a little bit of a close up of them. And then here's the backdrop, which is just a piece of like a uh, kind of thick paper, front and back, so that's kind of cool. I also have the um, Walgreens exclusive Nightmare Before Christmas six pack. So it came with large Jack, or these are all large figures. So it came with Jack, Sally, Zero, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And the um, Jack and Sally are glow in the dark. Their faces are glow in the dark. Um, these this was the first time we ever saw these characters, so I had to pick them up when I bought, when I found them. Uh, but now they are uh, readily available besides the glow in the dark Jack and Sally, uh, which is pretty cool. Here I have my Christmas Zoom Zooms. Uh, sorry for the lighting; it might be a little bit different because the flash is on now. Um, but yeah, so I have four of the um, single packs of the uh, Christmas editions, and then I have one. Um, advent calendar and then the contents of the advent calendar uh so the advent calendar that i have is the um my original 2016 advent calendar i kept the box um and all the contents but the box is empty right now um 
yeah, I know that they released this. This was supposed to be a Costco exclusive, or they released it first at Costco, and then um, it was then sold at Toys R Us and um, Walmart, and then Target also got a different advent calendar. Um, but as far as I know, they're pretty much similar, or they're all yeah, they're all very similar. Um, I got these single packs from Walgreens. You could you could have also gotten these at um, Kohl's. These were also sold uh, during 2016 or the winter of 2016. So I have Donald, I have Daisy, Mickey, and Pluto. And I really wanted this because um, Mickey had an exclusive um, accessory. But now um, all of these are probably um, released or like duplicated. Um, and then I have um, the accessories for my advent calendar, or contents for my advent calendar. So I have uh, six accessories. I have six of the headbands for the large size figures. I have um, all six of the um, Christmas costume uh, Mickey and Friends characters. And then I have six of my glitter guys. And I've shown these ones already, but I just wanted to um, include them again. Um, so yeah, here are my Mickey Through the Ages set. So I only have two out of box um, besides the black and white Mickey, but I have um, 90 Years Mickey with a decal on the side and then Plain Crazy Mickey. Um, I got those before I got this set. Um, I got this off of eBay. They're fairly cheap right now. They're like 12 to $15 at the moment. And they're really cute. They have all of the um, Mickeys through the ages along with the years they were released. Um, and some of these are only uh, available in this pack. Um, I believe it's like one of these, some of these ones. I think it's that one, that one, that one, and maybe this one or this one. Um, but I kept it in its packaging because I think it looks so good in there. It's so cute. And these are kind of my miscellaneous Zoom Zooms. So, um, these are on checklists, uh, but I don't really count them as normal Tsum they I feel like they're in their own category of their own. Um, this is a Series 2 um, packaged uh, 3 set. These, this has never been opened. And um, the reason why I bought this pack was because of the purple Bing Bong. Um, so, for comparison, here is a normal Bing Bong. He is much more pink, and this one's purple. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Some people say that purple ones aren't very po or are pretty common to find, but I thought it was just really cool to have in my collection. I also have a sprinkled boo from series 10. I think it was series 10, either series 10 or 11. Um, I have the um, camouflaged Randall, and then I have the invisible Cheshire Cat. Here are my Marvel Zoom Zooms. I'm not going to go super in-depth with these, um, just because I don't know all of their names, uh, but here's just a closer look of them. I don't really collect these ones as much, I just, uh, pick and choose more. Um, as you can see, my collection is quite limited. These aren't Tsum Tsum vinyls by Jack's Pacific, but these are figural Tsum Tsums, and that the, I was quite, um, interested in them while I was, like, uh, first started collecting. But I have um, some of the Disney Store ones, and then I have uh, three of the arcade straps. These are really cute, and I feel like these are way more detailed than the uh, Jack Specific ones. And they're um, a different material, and I kind of like that. Um, I just want to show, show those off real quick. And then I just wanted to show off my international Tsum Tsum figures. So these are exactly like vinyl figures, but they are figures. Um, they aren't plushies, so that's what I like um, associate them with. So these ones are my Japanese Tsum Tsums. So they, um, I have two sets of them. This one is not open, so that's why only one of them is out. Um, but this one is, uh, for sale in Jap uh, Japan only, as you can see. And, um, this is more like a board game. That's like the premise of this, um, one. They also sell these in, like, other, like, variants, different characters. They also had a Marvel and a Star Wars set. And they also had um, blind boxes where they had different expressions and stuff. Um, so here's just an overview of the ones that I have. Again, I have two of these. And then I also have this um, Holiday Donald. I'm not sure if this is a um, 
legitimate one, but I got this from a trade as an extra, and I'm really glad that I did because it is so adorable. And then here are my squishy Tsum Tsums, or Tsum Tsum Squishies. Uh, these are mostly more known in like, uh, to be European Tsum Tsums, but they're also found in places like the Philippines, and I believe Hong Kong, Indonesia, places like that. Um, so a lot of these I got from, um, secondhand sellers, and then, um, the metallic ones that I have over there, those are from my friend who lives in the Philippines, she bought them, um, uh, for me. Um, but here are the, um, original squishy ones, so I have, uh, Scrump, um, Jimmy Cricket, Daisy, Donald, uh, Chip, Two Dales, Mike, and Boo, and then for the metallics, I have, uh, Rue, Lady, Gus Gus, Dopey, Mickey, Bullseye, Han, and Alice, um, yeah, I really like these ones. They're not my favorite. I definitely like the vinyls more, but I also like that these only came in one size, and that made the company who made this, Zuru, um, focus more on the different characters. Like, we never got to see a Ru character, and um, I guess that's the only one we didn't get to see so far, but they also came out with a lot of other um, characters that uh, Jack, Specif Jack Specific never released, and I could appreciate these a lot. These are very cute, um, but I don't like how sticky they are, so uh, that's kind of a downside. Um, if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on like international Tsum Tsums, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. I might make that video anyways. I've seen a couple people do them as well, but I just thought I'd like to show uh, my own thoughts and opinions. Um, yeah, it's always been something that I've been uh, pretty um, interested in. So that was it for my Tsum Tsum collection, Tsum Tsum vinyl collection. I did most of my Tsum Tsum uh, collectibles in this video other than my plushies and um, some Tsum Tsum die cast cars. I only have two of those um, and I don't have very many plushies and I wasn't very much of a plushie collector anyways. Uh, so I didn't think those were too important to include. Um, if you guys would like, I could... Um, make a separate video on those um but yeah for now that is my Tsum Tsum vinyl collection or Tsum Tsum figure collection I really hope you guys enjoyed it I love making these videos I love watching them um again this is a remake for my other video that I made um a few months ago um and I hope this one came out a lot better and I hope that um more people like this one. I didn't get any complaints from my last uh, video, but I just uh, rewatched it and I didn't think that it was that great. Um, so hopefully this one is better. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys are a fan of Tsum Tsums or if you guys have like Instagram accounts uh, where you show your Tsum Tsums or you have uh, Tsum Tsum videos of your own or you just post pictures or something, please let me know. I love looking at other people's collections. I love seeing other people's work. I love um, knowing that Tsum Tsum vinyls are still um, something that other people collect too. I feel like when it comes to hobbies, it's not just um, what you do yourself, but also the community that comes along with it. It's a very big um, platform. Tsum Tsum used to be a really big platform and um, it's a way I got to connect with a lot of other people and um, talk about some of my favorite things, which are Tsum Tsums. Um, I don't really have anyone to talk to about those in real life, so it was really cool to see other people who were my age or older um, who were also interested in toys because obviously toys are um, more catered towards um, a younger audience. Um, and it's just nice to know, like, other people are like me, you know? Um, so yeah, even though Tsum Tsums are kind of discontinued as of late, um, or as of this spring, I've been told by Jack Specific, um, I have the post on my Instagram account, The Obsessive Fish, um, they have shared that Tsum Tsums are no longer going to be made as of the fall, um, Tsum Tsum, or Tsum Friends Forever packs, blind bag packs, um, are available for the spring, and I believe that the blind bags are only available. They're not releasing any multi-packs, um, which is kind of disappointing. Um, but yeah, even though Tsum Tsums aren't being made anymore, I feel like a lot of people are still um, really interested in Tsum Tsums, and they um, 
also like want to keep their collections going so i feel like to keep the community alive it'd be cool to have um, a lot of people like sharing and um interacting because that's one of my favorite parts of the Tsum Tsum community and Tsum Tsum collecting in general. Um, I, as I said, I hope you guys like this video. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent. Uh, but I hope you comment, like, and subscribe. Bye! See you in the next video.